What's going on guys, Jones the Gamer here and welcome to my first episode on my AVPL interviews. Now I bring this over from the VFL and I did a couple of interviews with lads over there. Some people enjoyed it so I thought why not, let's have a go over here and see what people think. Now in this interview we've got a couple of lads, the three of them, there's a guy called the Cami Boy 8 he is the manager of Bournemouth um, and you'll see what he's got to say about Bournemouth this season. Also a lad called GB Neymar 11 he's an admin here over AVPL so it's really good to have an admin on which is different and he also manages, uh, sorry, he plays for West Brom and a lad called Mr Steel Your Bay, he was the Charlton manager but he did resign for whatever reasons. Now guys if you like me doing these let me know, I've got a couple more people lined up and I will be doing them and if you want me to I'll release them but it's totally up to you guys if you don't if you find it boring I understand it's a very long um, clip uh, uh, sorry a video and so I would understand if you guys well, don't want to watch it or when you'd rather see highlights or some other FIFA content now guys let me know what you think and that feedback on the comments okay, enjoy the video before I go I just want to say thank you to Flame and Skull for doing all these thumbnails for me they've been absolutely amazing thanks for watching guys peace so guys, you all are uh, in a particular team this season. That's a really bad question. So guys, <laughs> you all are um, a big part of yeah, your teams this season. How do you think you guys did? Go on, Cammy. Tell them about the Bournemouth boys. Uh, we've been pretty inconsistent, if I'm honest, this season. One game were sky high, next game were rubbish. Wait. Like, Majority of the teams we've played, we could easily get one or three points off, but we just end up screwing it up and losing. Like, we played Norwich earlier this season, we get beat 3 0, 3 1. Forget, but that was in goals. But we actually, we were much better than them. The stats we dominated. Uh, <coughs> just, we need to create more chances and score, be more clinical. Cammy, I heard you beat the mighty Stoke. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that was that was a good game. Four 0 Ah, big game that I heard. A bit controversial <laughs> by Josh's thoughts. <laughs> but we've we get knocked out in the League Cup and all like the first round against QPR who like bought me the championship. <gasps> oh QPR, yeah. We get beat two 0 off them, so oh. wouldn't say we've had a great season, but it's been a mediocre season at best. <laughs> Uh, guys, how else did you guys do? The Charlton boys are flying high, as per usual, no problem. <clears throat> we'll sit four points top of the league. But we're four points ahead of Millwall. Got a Middle East goals concede in the league. Me and AVFC Nathan basically tearing shit up at the back. And for uh, who else we got? You've you seen that KSI guy we got signed? KSI. With that Danish kid Frank. <laughs> he only paid £100 for that account. <laughs> uh, we signed up. Honestly, I can't be honest. You see, you signed that 83 striker. Mm -hmm. I've got an 82 right back who is absolutely unreal. <laughs> he's probably one of the best right backs I've seen. He's 82 rated. He's... I think what? We played what? 16 games this season and kept. I think it's 12 clean sheets now. Yeah, I think it's either 12 or 13 clean sheets. We win it, it's not even like, I don't know, like, the league's not bad, it's just, most, like, we beat QPR 9-0. 9. So you guys are obviously um, hoping to get promoted within the next, this weekend, and do you think the Premiership is a big step up, or do you think it's very similar levels? No, I mean, you get them, the Premiership's a bit of a weird one, like, you get them teams that are, like, sort of, like, around our level, like, we play a lot of games against Premier League teams in friendlies, like, we played Stoke, we played all them lot in friendlies, and we, my team's built around top players, like, I don't play dead, I don't play with dead players, I've never played with dead players, that's why Cammy's not in my team. <laughs> well, no, I, I think, uh, <laughs> I think if we was in the, I reckon if we was in the Championship now, we'd be holding our own, like, I reckon we'd be up there still. So I think if we when we do, when we do go up, we'll be causing some people some problems. I'll be knocking Cammy off his to perch anyway. Not Newcastle there, obviously. No, obviously. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll play up front against you. It's no problem. So guys, in your you opinion, opinion surprising. Uh, Newcastle. Surprisingly. Mm. Well, I, I, I don't. Oh, no surprisingly way. good. I thought we'd done alright this season, to be honest with you. Um. So, guys, in your opinion, who do you think your best goalkeeper midfielder 
striker and defender you've played with or against in in, in AVPL or general or VFL or wherever else you've played? Oh, Cammy, you want to uh, take this one? Goalkeeper. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of him, but he's went by so many different accounts. Right now he's playing it in its problem. Yeah, I think he's at Oh, Millwood. Andy, Andy. Andy, yeah, Andy. I've played with him. I've, I've had him at many clubs and he's saved me virtually a lot. He is, he, he, he I'll give some it to him. I played, him, I played him with him at VFL Colorado when my Ethan was manager. He does some unreal things in goal, to be fair to him. Uh, I haven't seen him play he, much he, as FIFA. But... He doesn't play, he, he doesn't like playing goals as much anymore as he used to. He doesn't meet himself. Like FIFA 15, that was his FIFA. He was like, unreal. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, FIFA 15. Like. I haven't seen him much this year, but I know he's still good. Nah, I, the, probably the two keepers I've played the most of this FIFA is, uh, you know, X Real Lavo. I'm on the bet. Yeah, he's got, yeah, yeah. got the record for most clean sheets in VFL. Plays in mm. my team. and Plays up front, though, bearing in mind. Yeah. But... <laughs> GB Buffon. Oh, that's Trey, isn't it? Oh, Trey, isn't it? The pure shadows, isn't it? Mm. I've played against him a couple of times, to be fair. Like... But Lavo's fucking. Lavo's mint. Like, I've seen it. Oh, we played again the other day. He was just unreal. And then it's got to be like. Played with Tilly. That Hugo Lloris plays for Arsenal now. Was it Palace? He's a he's a mint keeper. And outfield players. Yeah, defender. Actually, the centre back wise, I think I've played the best centre back I've ever played with right now. Holmesy, nineteen eighty seven. None of these have probably seen him play, but how Never he reads the game, good. how he reads the game is just unbelievable. Like he'll just jockey you until you make a move and he'll tackle you or intercept it dead easily. Like, if you actually look at his stats compared to all the other top centre backs in the Premier League, he, the only thing he's lacking compared to the rest of them is uh, clean sheets, which is mainly got Can't to do with us. <laughs> sort of my fault and uh, <laughs> goalkeepers not being consistent. And Josh fucking up his stats. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> uh, <sighs> But fullbacks, I've, I've never really came across much great fullbacks, if I'm honest. I've yeah, came well, across the occasional one, but not much. Yeah, we prefer to play uh, the three at the back, the three centre backs, um, because we feel that centre backs are can do as good a job as a wing back, and we more I in midfield. I played three-five-two by Leverkusen last VFL season. It's a mint formation. That if you get two good CDMs, you like know how to read the game, make tackles. It's a mint formation. <clears throat> If I'd like, if I had another class centre back to play next to me and Nathan, I'd definitely be playing three to back. Well, sorry, mate, but I'm managing Newcastle, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe next season, maybe next season. We'll see. Um, I don't know, so... like, defenders is awkward, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why I prefer defence. I think I'm just I don't like scoring. It's hard to say you played with good centre backs when you are a centre back, like, because I don't want to mug myself off here, like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm so I'm you... Josh does a good, do a job in defence. <laughs> what is your plan for next season? Um, obviously, I've heard about Charlton. You've got Bournemouth. You obviously want to stay up. Mm. <clears throat> but are you going to completely regrow your team, or do you think you're going to keep a couple of players? Or well, we got a, obviously we've got a couple of boys going back to the VFL, like Lav and all that lot. So oh, I mean, I reckon half a good half of us will stay over, like, and we'll try and obviously mm. rebuild from there. Obviously, you know you've got players leaving and that, so we'll just be looking into bring on the odd few. Like We're hoping to keep the main sort of core of players, so we'll try and build on from there and just sort of try and bully some teams in the BPL, try to smack Bournemouth a couple of times. <laughs> Make Josh rage quit, no problem. <clears throat> yeah, I think we'll have to things. We'll have to rebuild. I mean, we, we, we've had about fucking 10 centimetres in the team. Here. We keep changing this players like every game, and we need to just keep yeah. the same eleven for every game. I've gone from that. I've had gone from having eleven players and five backups to turn up to a game having six players at uh, like quarter to eight. Yeah. You get one. <laughs> 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 uh, you see me panicking from your friend list at like quarter to eight trying to find people who are signed and I can play them. It's murder, mm. man. <clears throat> so, just a quick last question, guys. If you um, you've all got managers' experience. Um, 
and I've, this is my first year being a manager what would you, uh tips would you give for someone who wanted to be a manager or tips would you give for a free agent looking for a club don't panic saying if you're a manager you would agree oh, panic signing is the worst oh the my worst God. thing you ever do <laughs> See if you I see a free agent and he's semi, he's semi decent, hold on and see if you can find someone else. And if you can't find someone else, maybe sign that guy up. But oh, I've done it so many times before and I've regretted it so badly. Yeah, I've done it this the worst season. Thing, though, the, the worst thing there is, there's a lot of snakes out there. Players will snake you for fun. So you just, the thing is, you can't get pissed off at them. You just, at the end of the day, you can't do nothing about it. I've had players tell me they're going to sign. I'll go message them the next day. Go, oh, now I'm going here now. I'm just like, oh. It, have, have, a core, have a reliable call, you know. Have a reliable call. It's good to have friends and players. If you've got players, you know. It is, it's good to have friends, but it's not. Some, I, some, sometimes it pisses me off having mates in the team. It really yeah. does. Uh, I ha have people in the team you get on with. Mm, definitely. And if you if you see if you're a free agent, don't come across as a guy who thinks he knows everything about his position and the team. Especially not to the manager. I know. Especially not if you're trialling centre-back next to the manager. Oh, it's always been worse. <laughs> the amount of times I've had a centre-back trialling next to me and he's tried telling me what to do. Oh, mate. <laughs> I wanted to rip off his head then. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, uh, guys, so that's all I've got time for. Um, thanks for coming down and chatting to me. No problem. No problem, lad, any time. Thank you guys for making it to the end. I do understand it's a very long video and in the future I am going to shorten it down just for you guys. I just want to say thank you for every sub that I get and every view. I only do this as a hobby and I just love the fact that people are enjoying my videos. Now, before I go, I want to give a big shout out to a couple of mates of mine. They are called Witsman, a bigger ego. We are trying to get them 100 subscribers, guys. Now, I want your guys' help. Just head over there and check out their content. If you don't like what you're doing, they're doing, sorry, then you don't have to subscribe. Just just have a look because I think they make really great videos and it's a shame they don't have a big sub base. I don't have a big sub base myself, but I want to do everything I can to help these guys out. Now, thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit a comment below.